Hey, Chris Shoup here with Dominate Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a simple lead capture page that will massively boost the amount of leads that are coming into your business. This whole process is really easy to set up, takes a day or two maximum, and doesn't really require any technical skills at all. And if you do this, this should easily double or more the amount of leads that are coming into your business. And of course, if you're doubling the number of leads that are coming in, then you're doubling your revenue. Now, if you don't know what a lead capture funnel is, that's fine, I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by that. Then I'm gonna go over the high level strategy of how to do it. I'm gonna tell you why it works. And then I'm gonna teach you how to actually do it. I'm actually gonna let you watch me in real time building a lead generation funnel for a dermatology practice. So if you're a business owner and you run a medical practice and you actually implement what I'm about to show you into your marketing, this will give you a huge boost in sales. And of course, if you're a marketer, this is a super valuable service that you can offer to your clients to increase their sales. And I'm gonna be specifically talking about for a dermatology practice here, but the same model works for just about any business. So you can just think about how you would adapt the same process to your target customers. Okay, now what I'm about to show you is something that very few dermatology offices are doing. In fact, most businesses and most industries haven't figured this out yet. This is just kind of a secret among digital marketers that we know, but it hasn't really spread very much to other industries. So what that means is that this is an enormous opportunity for you because your competition, I can pretty much guarantee you, if you're watching this in the beginning of 2020 when I'm recording this, your competition is not doing what I'm gonna tell you here. This is pretty new territory for this industry. Okay, now I'm gonna start by telling you the basic strategy that is involved, and then I'm gonna get specific about how to implement it. So what you're gonna do is basically a three-step process. It's pretty simple. Step number one is you give valuable info in exchange for contact information for the lead. Now, if you're a dermatologist, there's all sorts of valuable expertise that you could share. And the way you'll share it is in some sort of deliverable content. So it may be a PDF, it may be a video, you can get creative if you want, but I would recommend a PDF to start with. What you wanna do is actually, there's a few reasons for this. You wanna give people that's something of value that you're basically bribing them to give their contact details. Now, you want something that is appealing to the kind of person that is likely to become your customer. And then the second thing that you wanna do is you want to establish your expertise. You want this person to read all about what you have to say about your area of expertise so they get to the point where they trust you and you become their trusted provider when they choose to actually get the service done, you'll be the first choice because they already know you and they already trust you because they've read your content. So what valuable info is it that you're actually giving to your prospective customers? Well, that depends on what the customer wants. Your customers have some goal that they want to achieve or some problem in their life that they want to get rid of. And if you can provide information that will help them achieve their goal or get rid of their problem, then they're gonna be interested in getting that information. So I'll give you a few examples. You could be goal-focused or you can be problem-focused. So if you're goal-focused, you would have something like a free guide, a free PDF called Dermatologist Secrets, Five Easy Steps to Make Your Skin Look 10 Years Younger. For example, that's identifying something that your ideal customer wants. Your customer wants to look younger and she wants to have better skin. So you're offering a product that can help her get to that. Now, from the other angle, helping people avoid problems, you could give a free PDF or a free video with the title something like 10 things women do that makes their skin age faster than it has to. Or if you wanna be more specific, you could say 10 things that women in Florida do that make their skin age fast. And there are a few principles as to what a lead magnet, a lead magnet is the valuable info that you're getting, giving for free, that's the marketing speak, it's called a lead magnet. There's a few principles that makes your lead magnet attractive to your ideal customer. And I won't get into this too much because there's a lot to it, but if you notice the two examples that I gave you, uh, I, I did think about those for a minute. One, they are offering to help the person with the goal or the problem that they already have in their mind. 
Two, they're very specific. They use numbers like five easy steps or 10 things that women do, right? You use numbers to make it specific. And three, I make it look easy because everybody wants an easy fix. So the more easy you sell it as, the more people are gonna be interested. And you can experiment with which route works better for you, whether focusing on the goals that your customer has or the problems that they have, which one works better for you. Now, if you're running to cold traffic, which I mean, you're presenting this to people who don't already know you, I've found that the negative, the problems actually work better because that's just a part of human psychology that we are more attuned to problems than we are to opportunities because a problem can kill you, right? We're, we're raised in this primitive environment where you know, if, if there's a saber-toothed tiger nearby, we have to focus on that exclusively. It doesn't matter if there's a fruit tree beside the saber-toothed tiger where we could get some delicious fruit, right? We have to focus on the negative because uh, the negative could very adversely affect your life unless you deal with it immediately. Anyway, so I won't get into that too much, but that's step number one is to give valuable info in exchange for the contact information that you could follow up with later. So step two, is to invite to schedule appointment. So once you give the person your free thing in exchange for your contact info, you're going to immediately invite that person to schedule an appointment with you. And you say something like, schedule with me so that I can meet you in person and figure it out exactly what you need for your skin to look your absolute best. You're selling this as a personalized assessment, right? You're looking at that person specifically. That's a lot better than just the you know generic advice that you give to anybody. If you're looking at the person and saying, you need this, 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 and this, well, now they have a, a strategy that's custom tailored to them. So this, just the appointment itself, you are conveying the value of that to the customer. Even if they don't decide to work with you, at least now they know what their problems are and what they can do in the future. So this by itself is a big value and it's for free. And of course, a lot of the people who schedule that appointment with you, you're gonna lay out that plan of what they need to do to look better and the person is already interested, they're already committed, they already came into your office or called you or whatever it is, there is a very good chance that a lot of those people are gonna become your customers, right? Because you've told them what they need to do and the way how to do it is to sign up for a procedure at your office. And our agency actually will train you on what to do on the appointment so that you get the maximum number of customers for it. So the maximum number of people who go to the appointment actually buy your services. So if you think about it, if you're doubling the amount of leads and uh, you're doubling the amount of people who buy from the appointment, well, you've just increased your revenue by a factor of four. But anyway, that's a topic for another time. Now, step three is to follow up. Now, there's a few ways that you do this, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to follow up because the average customer, to the just market research in general, uh, the average person to buy something needs to be contacted about it seven times, needs to have seven touch points before they buy it. And that touch point could be an ad, it could be an email, it could be a sales page, but people usually don't buy the first time that they're exposed to something. They need to see it over and over and over again. So when you get the contact info here, you have a uh, contact info that you can keep following up with over and over and over again. So you can hit that seven times and more so you can get the maximum share of customers out of those leads. And actually the process I'm gonna show you here has a whole bunch of these touch points built into it. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that later in the video. Okay, now I told you I was gonna explain what a sales funnel is. Uh, everything that, that we're gonna do here is based on the model of a sales funnel. And so the easiest way is just to give you a description. A funnel is just kind of a way of describing your customer acquisition process. So, think of something funnel shaped like this, where 
Uh, you have the people that, that see whatever your, your first touch point are at the top, and then each step after that, you have some of the people from that step are gonna go on to the next step. So for the first step, let's say this is the person who sees your ad. Let's say you're running ads. Now, uh, there's a whole bunch of ways that, that you can get a first step and they don't all involve advertising, but just for an example here, let's say that these are the people who see the ad. Now, of the people who see the ad, some percentage of those are going to click on the ad. Right, and those people are going to go to your opt-in page, which is the page which I'm going to show you how to set up in a minute here, but it's the page where you offer them the valuable info that they can sign up for. So of those people who visit your opt-in page, some percentage of those are going to opt in. These are the people who wanted your free thing and they gave you their contact information in exchange. And by the way, I'm going to show you a clever way to set it up so it doesn't seem like they're giving anything up by giving their contact information. It doesn't seem like an exchange to them. I'll show you how to do that in the last part of the video. Okay, and then of the people who opt in, some of those people are going to schedule an appointment. And then of those people who schedule the appointment, some percentage of those are going to become your customer, they're going to buy. So that's how the funnel works. Each step, it gets a little bit smaller and smaller group because you're filtering out the people who are not your ideal customers. So you start with a broad group of people and then you filter out until you get some ideal customers and those people buy from you. Okay, now let me show you how exactly we're gonna set this up. So we'll make some space here on the whiteboard. Okay, so the actual structure of our funnel is gonna look something like this. We're gonna start with traffic. Now, as I said before, traffic can come from advertising. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other ways it can come. It can come from Google, just people who find your website on Google. Uh, it can come from your business card. It can come from talking to people at trade shows, right? There's a million ways you can get traffic. And I'll go over in later videos, I'm gonna tell you how to get traffic. So of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my new videos. But anyway, so you're gonna get traffic to begin with. Then you're gonna send that traffic to an, what's called an opt-in page. This is the uh, web page where you're gonna say, hey, here's my free dermatologist guide to looking 10 years younger or whatever it is that you're offering and you ask for their email address. And then after they enter their email address, they go to a thank you page. And then on this thank you page, you are going to, well, you can deliver your lead magnet on the thank you page if you want. You don't necessarily have to. I recommend sending the, the, the lead magnet through email. That is the free thing they're getting, send it through email because that means when you're on your opt-in page, you can, instead of saying, hey, I'll give you this free thing in exchange for your email address, what you're saying is, hey, I'm gonna send you this free guide. Where should I send it? and get, your, get the email address that way. That way it seems like a lot lower pressure to the person. But whether or not you deliver your, your lead magnet on the thank you page, you definitely want to include a call to action there. And the call to action is to the next part in your funnel, which is to request an appointment. So you say, thank you for signing up to the dermatologist guide to, to, to healthier skin or whatever it is that you gave them. I know you're gonna love this guide. By the way, if you would like to get a personalized assessment, give us a call at this phone number and set up an appointment or go to this website and set up an appointment with us so we can tell you exactly what you need to do for your unique skin type, et cetera, et cetera. So you're putting what's called a call to action, CTA for short, you're putting on the thank you page. Now, notice that this is the first touch point. I told you about that seven average touch points in order to get a customer. This is your first touch point for getting people to schedule an appointment with you is on the thank you page. 
Okay, now you will have gotten the email address from the opt-in page. So let's put, uh, you got the email address. So the first thing is send an email. And your email should include your lead magnet. Right? That's your, your free guide. You know, you promised it, so you better send it, right? Attach that to your first email. If you want, you could also, under the free guide, you send them a link, say, hey, here's your download link, or you send it attached to the email, you know, whatever you want. And then under that, you can say, by the way, if you want to schedule a personalized assessment, right? Sounds familiar, right? It's exactly what you did right here. So you can put your CTA in the first email. Okay. Well, now you have their email address. You can send them as many emails as you want, basically forever or until they unsubscribe. You know, don't want to like spam people that aren't interested. But you have the email address of somebody who is very interested in what you have to offer, and you can do a lot with that. What that means is every time you get a new email address, you're building an audience of people who you can advertise for free and who are your ideal audience. So. Uh, let's say we send a second email. Number two. And we'll put a CTA in that email. And then do a third email. Put a CTA in that one. And then, and then you could, you know, do this as many emails as you want. So you see how you're getting all these different touch points. You're getting a CTA here. You're getting a CTA here. In your lead magnet, at the end of your lead magnet itself, if it's a PDF document or if it's a video, whatever it is, put a call to action at the end of the lead magnet, right? So you're getting yet another touch point and you're getting it uh, right when they've read about the services that can help them, right? So great placement there. And then you're another CTA, another CTA. So you're giving them all of these touch points. Uh, where you, you're persuading them more and more and more and you're reminding them of the service that you can offer them to make their lives better. I hope by now you're starting to recognize how powerful this is. Okay, now I'm going to do a screen share here and I'm going to show you how to build this process. I'm going to let you watch as I actually create this lead magnet funnel for you. Okay, so I'm using a program called ClickFunnels which I love because it lets me build funnels really easily. It lets me build a lot of them and it requires basically zero technical skill at all. You'll see in a moment, it's just a drag and drop editor. It's super easy. So uh, if you want to try ClickFunnels, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a 14 day free trial so you can see if you like it. So uh, what I'm going to do is go to funnels here and I'm going to add new. And then I will start cookbook. I'm going to select what kind of funnel I want. A lead magnet funnel is just one kind of funnel. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of funnel. So let's say industry is retail. They have a bunch of templates that we can work off of. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I want to generate leads. And then uh, I want contact info. So we have few different kinds. I'm going to take lead magnet funnel because that's what we're going for here. And now I get a whole bunch of different templates to choose from. So let's say, what do we want to do? Some of them you have to pay extra for. Some of them are free. I find the free ones are great. Like, uh, you know, some of the, the paid ones are nice too, but usually the free ones are fine for me. So let's start with this one. I think I like this one, right? Because it already kind of looks like what we're doing here. And we can customize it as much as we want. So I'll hit Get Funnel. OK, now here's the funnel. And we're going to go in and edit it. So I hit edit page. Give it a moment. You'll see how easy this is. So uh, let's just make this super simple and use everything just like it is in here. So 
we'll say introducing. Uh, let's let's do a, a PDF guide instead of a video guide. Let's say a free PDF guide from a world-renowned. You know, get your get your uh, grammar right here. Dermatologist. And you know, if you're not, did I spell that right? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> worry about that later. So uh, for you. PDF guide from a world-renowned dermatologist, and you can, you know, you can make that better. I'm sure. I'm not going to focus too much on the copy, which copy means the actual text. I'll give you a few tips in here, but that'll be a subject of a later video. So, of course, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button, so you get all those later videos. But I'm just going to kind of show you the basics here. So, free, uh, let's call it free PDF guide, and then use one of the one of the ideas I had before, like. Uh, Let's see, what was it? Okay. Let's say dermatologist secrets. Uh, five easy steps to make your skin look 10 years younger. And then I'll change the text a little bit so it's not like one word on a line. And I, you know, I won't do too much on the formatting here. I, this is not the point of this, so I'll just do a very little bit. And then let's see, let's make the bold color something different. Uh, and I could capitalize that. How about that? No, it looks too tacky. Okay, cool. And then uh, for our text here, notice how this is a very simple page, by the way. I like to leave it very simple because you're giving away something for free. It's not a big commitment. And if you have a big, long sales page to try to give away something for free, then people are naturally suspicious. It's like, why are you trying so hard to give me something for free? Right, so you want to make it pretty simple. I like the way this is laid out. This is why I chose this template. So um, now let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's start with with who you are. So uh, Dr. Mary Smith. And by the way, I like to focus on the patient and not focus on yourself. You know, a big mistake that I see a lot of dermatologists doing is they focus on themselves. They say. You know, I was accredited by, by such and such institution. I went to such and such college. I've been practicing for such and such number of years. I do this, 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 and this, right? It's all about me, 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 uh, when your customer cares about them. So let's make it, you know, mention yourself, but make it more about the customer. So let's say Dr. Mary Smith has helped thousands of women to look younger, uh, have healthier skin, and be more confident, and attract their ideal partners. In this free guide, she shares five super easy steps you can take today to have younger looking skin. You can start, uh, let's say, all of these are easy to do and you will see results in as little as three days. Right, you're focusing on what the customer wants they want to look younger, they want to have healthier skin, they want to be more confident. And, and right, you're, you're kind of going on multiple levels here. And, you know, I'm not going to go too, too far into the psychology here, but uh, people want to have better skin. Well, why? Right? They want, young, they want to have younger looking skin as a means to an end because it makes them feel better, right? Because it makes them feel more confident. So I'm saying you look younger, you have healthier skin, like that's the immediate goal. Okay, why do you want that immediate goal? Well, probably because you want to feel more confident and you want to have a good relationship. So you want to attract your ideal partner, etc. You know, we could go a lot further with that if we wanted to. And then uh, emphasize that it's free, right? It's no commitment for them. 
and then emphasize that it's easy and uh, you can start today and again easy and you'll see results in as little as three days now obviously everything that you say here should be true right don't mislead people don't bait and switch people but you want to put it in the most attractive light possible and by the way um, for what this PDF guide is this is something that you're gonna to have to create yourself or if you're a marketing agency you're gonna have your client create themselves and the reason for that I mean I'm sure there's plenty of content that you could buy you could have somebody ghost write it but I really recommend that the doctor uh, write it himself because you want to be the trusted authority right you want something that's coming from you that's written in your voice that the customer is going to start getting a little bit of intimacy with you the customer is going to have this professional relationship with you where they trust you right and if you just hire somebody else to do that you, you don't get the same effect right so I really recommend that you write this yourself and you can give a little thought to what kind of lead magnet you want again if you want to work with our agency which I'll give you a chance to do in a link in the description uh, will help you figure out the perfect lead magnet but we won't write it for you right because we want the customer to be acquainted with you in your own voice anyway so uh, real simple text all about the benefit to the customer and then here you go instead of enter your name and email address below what I like to say is uh, where should we send your free guide right I talked about this before instead of saying give me your email address you're saying where should I send it you're not saying give me your email address so that I can send you emails you're saying give me your email address so that I can send you the thing that you're signing up for right it's a lot more natural and it'll get a lot less resistance from customers and now we want to change the button text to like get my free guide now and then uh, the we hate spam and promise to keep your email safe that's always good to have because people don't want spam they don't want you like selling their email address to Amway or something right so you know that that reassures some people and then uh, it's in copyright 2020 dominate marketing you know you put your whatever your customer your company is down here okay now the last part you probably noticed is the picture here it's awesome to have a picture like this it makes it real right you're offering a digital product right whether it's a video or it's a PDF or whatever it is you're offering a digital product but having a, a cover image similar to this makes it look like it's real and makes it more tangible in the customers hands now I'm not going to show you how to create this I'm going to show you how to find somebody else to create it there is this awesome site called fiverr.com that's f i v e r r dot com where you can find people to do any kind of design work you want and a whole bunch of other kind of work for that matter and they'll do it for dirt cheap so let's search for ebook cover and you get a whole bunch of them uh, this German creative I just hired her a couple weeks ago and she did a great job did it in like two or three days right and you can find some people do it even faster so ebook cover cost ten dollars and uh, I don't really want to sign in right now but you can see you know kind of the work she's done before really nice looking stuff for ten bucks so that's what I would recommend to get your cover designed now I like to have a 3d cover which is like this right it looks like a box it looks like a DVD box now if you're offering a PDF uh, I would recommend making it look like a book and make it look like a thin book you know assuming that it's a small PDF but make it look 3d you don't want to just have a square or rectangular image you want to actually have it 3d okay so that is page one of our funnel uh, and it's pretty much already done right see how crazy easy that was it took me like what five ten minutes so uh, we'll go ahead and save that and there's some other stuff like uh, metadata and tracking codes and stuff some and integrations with email software which I'm not gonna get into in this video uh, that stuff is important but 
that's kind of beyond the scope. So again, subscribe, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button. I'll show you how to do that later. I'm just showing you the basic funnel setup for now. Okay, so the funnel is only two pages. It's just the opt-in page or the, the lead magnet page and the thank you page. So let's go over to the thank you page and we will edit that. Okay, so we can say thank you. I'll go ahead and check your email inbox. I've send you, sent, not great at the grammar around here, something special. Uh, that's a little silly. I'm going to change that. Let's say your, your free guide um, should have arrive by now okay and then and then you want to you want to offer the actually I'm gonna change that right because because we want to direct people to a call of action would call to action which we're gonna do in just a second so let's not tell them now check your inbox let's say uh, your let's say your free guide is on its way your free guide is on its way okay so now we're not telling them go click off this page and go to your email address, your email inbox. Now we're saying, wait a minute, uh, look at this. Well, let's put a dot dot dot, and then let's just clone this one. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about. Oh, that's a double box thing. Uh, let's just. Well, we could leave that at the bottom. Okay, and then now we say, um, want to have your, or let's see, want to have us, or me, if you're just one doctor, us if you're a practice, create a, uh, let's say, let's, let's say, want me to, um, Add your unique skin to create a custom uh, skin care plan just for you. And then let's, let's add some text there. We can just clone text and drag it here. So, um, let's say there are as many skin types as there are people, right? We're going to sell the benefit of having their own custom plan, which is why they would book the appointment. And again, this can be something pretty short. So let's say there are many skin types as there are, as there are people. Um, if you want the best looking skin, you need a plan that uh, is custom tailored to your unique skin type. If you want me to take a look at, uh, to help you come up with a, a free skin care plan, let's add a benefit, to shave 10 years off your appearance or you know whatever benefit you want uh, and give let's go even more with it and give you a boatload of new confidence um, give me a call today to schedule your free appointment and then let's put a phone number and you know this is if you want people to call you, right? If you want people to do uh, like sign up on a web page, then you just put a link to the web page. Uh, oh, that's right. I was gonna put the phone number here, so put uh, your phone number, and then maybe make that some nicer color. And make it a little bigger go too crazy with the formatting and then if you want to leave this part you can um, let's say dr. Mary Smith um, I've been
been practicing dermatology for 30 years, etc., etc., etc. Right, and then this is where you can put a profile about yourself. Now, notice I told you that the patient doesn't really care about you that much, uh, and that's true. So notice that what you're leading with here in the big letters up at the top is what you can do for the customer. And then what you're saying about yourself is just kind of a footnote, right? It lends a little bit of credibility at the end, right? So you're getting them emotionally involved first. You're, you're getting them to envision how they're going to look uh, when they have amazing youthful looking skin. And then after you get them emotionally involved, it, involved then you are justifying it logically, right? You create the emotional connection first, and then you justify it logically afterwards. And by doing that is, is where you give your credentials because they say, oh, okay, well, this, this offer sounds amazing, but is this person qualified to give it? And then that's where you put your own qualifications. And then probably even put a little bit about the benefit to the customer there too, because it's so much more important than any of your qualifications. And then of course you can replace that image with an image of you. And that's it, you're done. That's the whole funnel. Now you have to do the whole email sequence too, which I'm not gonna show you in this video because this video is already getting pretty long. But again, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, and I will do a separate video all about how to do the email sequence. Now, if you don't want to do the email sequence, you want to, you know, just take the easy way out, you can, you can actually put a download link on this page so that they can download the thing on this page. But I really recommend the email sequence because you can set up an automated program that sends them emails whenever they opt in. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in the in an upcoming video. So as you can see, uh, this is a very simple couple of web pages, right? And it's very easy to put together by yourself. It doesn't require really any technical skills, but I guarantee you that this simple two-page uh, web funnel will get you a whole lot more leads than the most beautiful professional website that you pay somebody $2,000 to create, right? And this is so much easier. But the, the difference is that this is focused on marketing. This is focused on psychology. This is focused on your customer and meeting your customer's needs and making your customer want to do business with you. Whereas a regular, Website is just kind of all about you. It has all sorts of distractions, all sorts of things that the person can click off on, whereas this is focused on one specific thing, and it is all about leading the customer through the sales process. So this simple website will get you leads far better than a traditional website. And the skill in creating these pages isn't in the technical stuff, right? I didn't have to do any coding at all. I just typed in some stuff and did some dragging and dropping. The skill in this is creating is mostly in the copy right is creating stuff that is going to entice the customer it's in how you word it how you structure it so if you're going to have a website built you should always have a marketer design your website right if you have a a web developer design your website well they can make a really nice looking website that functions really well uh as far as you know just doing what it's supposed to but as far as actually getting sales which I assume is going to be your goal, uh, find a marketer to, to figure out your web page and it's gonna be so much better, you know, assuming it's a, it's a marketer that's actually good, which actually is kind of difficult to find because uh, marketers coming from college have, have no idea how to do this kind of thing. And a lot of marketers are just glorified graphic designers who will make you a nice looking Instagram page but don't know the first thing about psychology or how to sell people. So anyway, if you found this helpful and you think that you would like some help coming up with a custom marketing plan, we can do that for you. Just go to dominatethemarketplace.net. Um, I'll show you dominatethemarketplace.net slash SS. Dominatethemarketplace.net slash SS. Um, you'll see how our process works and fill out a couple of questions. And we will help you for free 
create a custom marketing plan that will multiply your revenue on four different factors in the same time and four different factors that compound on each other. So check out that page. I'll tell you a little bit more about that process. That's dominatethemarketplace.net slash SS. I will also put a link in the description below so you can just click on it there. Again, this program that you're seeing me use right here is called ClickFunnels and I will put a link below to that as well so you can get a 14 day tr free trial if you click on the link below. Or if you wanna learn more about that now, you can click on this video I did recently about four different ways that you can use to explode your revenue. And please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel, and if you're in any groups of dermatology or you have friends that are dermatologists, share this video, right? You'll be doing them an enormous favor because very, very few dermatologists know any of this stuff.